Welcome back. In video three, we are going to record transactions in the general journal. The second step in the accounting cycle is to record a transaction in the general journal. After the transaction has been analyzed and the accounts impacted are identified, increase or decrease in each account affected must be converted to debits and credits. To record a transaction in the general journal or journal, the debit credit rule must be applied to the accounting equation. The process of entering transaction in the general journal is known as journalizing. The journal is also known as the journal of original entry. The accounting equation is expressed as assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. This equation provides the framework for recording and summarizing economic events. Recall that each transaction must affect two or more accounts to maintain the accounting equation in balance, i.e., for each transaction, debits must equal credits. Debit refers to the left side of an account. It is abbreviated DR. Credit refer to the right side of an account. It is abbreviated as CR. For assets, an increase is recorded with a debit. Conversely, a decrease is recorded with a credit. For liabilities, increase is recorded with a credit. Conversely, a decrease is recorded with a debit. Similar to liabilities, transactions that increase owner's equity are recorded with a credit. There are two types of transaction that increase owner's equity, increase in revenue and increase in owner's investment. An increase in revenue will result in an increase in owner equity, and an increase in owner equity is recorded with a credit. Likewise, an increase in investment by owner increases owner equity, and again, an increase in owner equity is recorded with a credit. Conversely, transactions that decrease owner equity are recorded with a debit. There are two types of transactions that decrease owner's equity, an increase in expense and an increase in withdrawals. An increase in expense decreases owner equity, and a decrease in owner equity is recorded with a debit. Likewise, an increase in withdrawal decreases owner equity and a decrease in owner equity is recorded with a debit. Here's a summary of the debit credit rule. Notice that all assets increase with a debit, whereas liability and owner equity, which is on the right hand side of the accounting equation, they increase with the opposite, which is a credit. And conversely, if an asset decrease, it's recorded with a credit. If liability and owner equity decrease, it's recorded with a debit. To maintain equality in the accounting equation, debits must equal credits. The following tips will make confusion about debits and credits a thing of the past. Rather than memorizing the debit or credit for each transaction, just remember one thing. All assets increase with a debit. Therefore, all transactions affecting the right side of the accounting equation, liabilities and owner's equity, must increase with a credit. If an account increase with a debit, it must decrease with a credit and vice versa. If a transaction involves cash, first determine if cash is being debited or credited. Then the second account must be the opposite. Example, cash is spent to purchase supplies. In this case, cash is decreasing, therefore it's credited. Therefore, supplies must be debited. Here's the format of the general journal. Journal entries are recorded chronologically meaning in date order, in the general journal. The format of the general journal is presented below. As you can see, there's a date column, there's an accounts and explanation column, a posting reference column, and a debit and credit column. 
in the journal, enter the transaction date. In the accounts and explanation column, enter the name of the account or accounts to be debited first, followed by the name of the account or accounts to be credited. The title of the accounts to be credited must be indented and we would enter the amount to be debited under the debit column and enter the amount to be credited under the credit column. Note, each journal entry must affect a minimum of two accounts. One must be a debit and the other is a credit. Debits must equal credits for journal entry to be in balance. Here is an example of a journal entry. The above journal entry records the receipt of 10,000 cash from customers. Cash increased 10,000, so the cash account would be debited. Accounts receivables from customer decreased 10,000, so the accounts receivable account would be credited as shown above. Now that we are familiar with how to record transaction in the general journal, let's apply the debit credit rules. Using the transaction that was previously analyzed in video 2, we will record them in the general journal. Transaction number 1. Gina Minnelli invested 25000 to open a landscape design business. Note that the cash account increased 25000 therefore cash was debited for 25 Minnelli Capital also increased, and according to the rules of debit credit, this account should be credited for 25000 To maintain the quality of the accounting equation, debit must equal credit in a journal entry. Transaction number two. Gina Minnelli purchased a new equipment with 10,000 cash on November 2nd. Notice that equipment account increased by 10,000. Therefore, the equipment account is debited. Also, cash account decreased 10,000, therefore the cash account is credited 10,000. Transaction number three. Minnelli purchased 1,000 of office supply on credit on November 6th. Notice that an asset, office supplies, increased by 1,000. Therefore, the office supplies account is debited 1,000. Since it was purchased on credit, a liability account, accounts payable, is also increased. According to the rules of debit and credit, an increase in a liability account should be credited. So, accounts payable is credited 1,000. Transaction number four. Minnelli Landscape Designs completed a 650 job for cash on November 10th. Notice that cash increased by 650. Therefore, the cash account is debited 650. Design fees also increase. According to rules of debit and credit, an increase in a component of owner's equity should be credited. So, design fees is credited 650. Transaction number five. Minnelli Landscape Design paid 850 for rent expense and 750 in salaries and wages expense on November 13th. In this journal entry, the cash account decreased by 1600 therefore cash is credited 1600 Two expenses, rent and salary and wage expense, increased by 850 and 750 respectively. Therefore, since expenses reduce owner's equity, these expenses would be debited. Note, this entry is known as a compound entry since there is more than one debit or credit. Transaction 6. Gina Minnelli paid $900 for a one-year insurance policy on November 15th. In this journal entry, cash decrease and prepaid insurance account increased by 900 According to the rules of debit and credit, an asset account increased with a debit and decreased with a credit. Therefore, prepaid insurance is debited 900 and the cash account is credited 900 Transaction number 7. On November 18, Minnelli Landscape Designs completed a 3,550 job on account. In this journal entry, an asset accounts receivable increase. Therefore, accounts receivable is debited 3,550. 
Revenue also increased. Therefore, since revenue increased owner equity, the revenue account should be credited for 3550 Transaction number eight, collected 2150 due from customer on November 28th. This journal entry records an increase in the cash account and a decrease in the account's receivable account. According to the rules of debit and credit, cash should be debited for $2150 and accounts receivable should be credited $2150. Transaction number nine, Gina Minnelli withdrew $1,500 cash for personal use on November 30th. This journal entry records a decrease in cash and an increase in withdrawals. Since withdrawal decreases owner equity, it should be recorded with a debit and a decrease in cash should be recorded as a credit. Transaction number 10. On November 30th, Minnelli Landscape Design paid 600 on account for office supplies previously purchased. In this journal entry, both cash and accounts payable is decreasing. A decrease in cash is recorded with a credit. Therefore, a decrease in accounts payable is recorded with a debit. That said, thank you for watching this video. The next step in the accounting cycle is posting journal entries from the general journal or journal to the appropriate account in the general ledger. Go to video 4 to learn how to post to the general ledger.